Benjamin Price Distributed Cinema, and today I'm here with Noah Centineo and Laura Haddock of the new Netflix series, The Recruit. Come on! Hello, hello! Uh, so, what was it about this show and the character of Owen Hendricks that drew you to want to help develop it as an executive producer? Oh, man. Um, well, getting in early certainly helped, right? It was just a pilot when I read it. It, didn't, it had a studio, which was E1 and production company, which was hypnotic. Doug Lyman was attached to it. And Alexi had written the pilot, so it was one episode. So by the time I read it, we were, they were still looking for distribution. Um, I loved the character. I loved the the story. I loved that it was about the CIA, but from a perspective of something of like a young kid on his second day on the job, which is very fresh. And so first you, I asked myself, do I like this? Do I want to do that? And the answer was yes, 100%. I'm obsessed with it. And then you got to go, okay, well, it needs distribution. I'm fortunate and, um, you know, to feel that Netflix is a home base for me and that they're willing to meet with me on projects that I'm excited about. And so from that, um, I was able to walk it into Netflix and they took the meeting. Um, and I guess that warrants an EP credit, you know, because you help it get distribution. Uh, and then Alexi did all the rest of the work. <laughs> uh, and I, so there's numerous action scenes in this show where you're helping him out. Uh, via the phone. I mean, whether it's, you know, there's the brawl in episode four in the trailer, there's the car chase. I'm curious how you sort of communicate the urgency and stakes of an action scene that you aren't present in. Oh yeah, great. It's mad because you don't <laughs> sometimes, we were good actually to each other in that respect because we showed up for the other mm -hmm. side of the phone calls. Mm -hmm. You were amazing because you could have had like two hours off and instead <laughs> you showed up and you did the other side of a phone call that's not being filmed. Mm -hmm. So that was amazing, A. B, Doug Lyman is the funniest. I mean, I had the funniest experience with him doing those scenes because he would just lie like under the bed <laughs> of the scene that I was sat on the bed on the phone. And he'd be like feeding me mad stuff like, yeah. say this, oh my, like now, now Owen is in this situation. Now react, respond, tell him to, Jump! Tell him to fucking jump! And I literally, he was like feeding me stuff, and fucking I would jump, yeah. Dude, fucking and so jump. I would just have to go for about ten minutes. The cameras were just rolling, and he was just dropping in ideas, and and he was being you at one point yeah. as well. And yeah. so it was all—it's just carnage. And you think, how is this going to cut together? And then it does cut together. I love that scene actually. In yeah, yeah, it's no, it's a lot of fun. You like hit your head with the phone. That's a great question. <laughs> yeah, very good question. Thank you. I love outside the box questions. No one's asked that question yet. Yeah. Well, I'll take it. Mm -hmm. uh, you just worked with Pierce Brosnan yeah. on Black Adam. Yeah. So going into this on-screen world of espionage, I mean, did you get any pointers from James Bond himself? I'm just curious. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> um, not outright. I didn't ask him for any for any advice, um, you know, but his, his advice came just through the process of watching him work. Um, you know, I remember we were about to roll Oh, we, we were about to rehearse something and said, okay, rehearsal, uh, should we shoot the rehearsal? And he, he leans over to me and goes, and they're all rehearsals. And I was like, you, that's oh, pretty sick. Oh my God, that's gorgeous. <laughs> and his whole thing is, you know, you just show up and you bring what you can, you yeah. know, as best as you possibly can. And, oh, I love and you, that. You, and you come ready to play. And so I guess that was advice. Love that. So you'd worked with Dialect Coach before, uh, I know most recently on Downton Abbey, A New Era. Uh, but what were some of the complexities of cracking a Russian accent oh, yeah. uh, with your character, Max? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a totally different m melody to the way that I speak. So I had to like drop, I dropped tone, I dropped my register. So she has a much deeper voice than I do. It's the frequent, you know, like the, the melody of the way she speaks is completely different. So I had to tune into other Russian women speaking English who had maybe spent some time in America as well because mm -hmm. I wanted her to have she is not short of words. She's, you know, really eloquent and she knows how to use her words and she speaks in long sentences. So this woman knows and uses the English language well. And so I knew that she, her accent, her Russian accent wasn't going to be so thick that she wasn't able to interact and communicate in English. So that was good. That meant that I had this like crossover t between the American and the Russian, which I think is really accessible and it didn't feel comical and you know it just felt like really real and mm -hmm. like that was really truly her voice and the way that she communicated yeah. and then just watched loads of youtube videos and just surrounded myself well uh, thank you both so much for your time <laughs> the recruits on netflix december 16th uh congrats on the show